listening to the Holy Bible One Year Challenge with master storyteller Michael Wood, featuring the easy to read version and used by permission from Bible Week International. Enjoy the show! Hello, everyone. Welcome to day 224. We're continuing in the book of Ecclesiastes. And King Solomon muses about various subjects. I'll try to mention the header between each of them. Think of it as sort of a blog that Solomon is writing called The Meaning of Life. And in this episode, some of the blog article titles are Is It Better to Be Dead? Why Work So Hard? People, Politics, and Popularity. Be Careful About Making Promises. The Poor and the Rich. Enjoy Your Life's Work. And finally, wealth does not bring happiness. And we're also continuing in the book of 1 Corinthians. Paul continues to discuss the subject of marriage versus being single with the common theme that when you are called by Christ, you basically, whatever life situation you're in, you are to remain that way. So if you're a single guy or girl and you've come to Christ, then you should remain single. It doesn't mean you can't get married if you're single. It's just that marriage is going to bring a lot of troubles and you won't be able to serve the Lord as much as you could if you were not married. So it's not a question of law. In fact, Paul even mentions a lot of this as his own opinion. It's more of a matter of good, better, or best. If you enjoy the show, visit me at patreon.com forward slash storymaster. You'll find the link in the description box below. By contributing as little as $1 per month, you will enable me to continue this ministry. And you'll get cool rewards too. Together, we're going to get through the Bible in one year. Let's get started. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 Is it better to be dead? Again, I saw that many people are mistreated in this life. I saw their tears. And I saw that there was no one to comfort them. I saw that cruel people had all the power, and I saw that there was no one to comfort the people they hurt. I decided that it is better for those who have died than for those who are still alive, and it is even better for those who were never born, because they never saw the evil that is done in this life. Why work so hard? And then I thought, Why do people work so hard? I saw people try to succeed and be better than other people. They do this because they are jealous. They don't want other people to have more than they have. This is senseless. It is like trying to catch the wind. Some people say, It is foolish to fold your hands and do nothing. If you don't work, you will starve to death. Maybe that is true. But I say it is better to be satisfied with the few things you have and always be struggling to get more. Again, I saw something else in this life that didn't make sense. I saw a man who has no family, not a son or even a brother, but he continues to work very hard. He's never satisfied with what he has, and he works so hard that he never stops and asks himself, why am I working so hard? Why don't I let myself enjoy my life? This is also a very bad and senseless thing friends and family give strength. Two people are better than one. When two people work together, they get more work done. If one person falls, the other person can reach out to help. But those who are alone when they fall have no one to help them. If two people sleep together, they will be warm. But a person sleeping alone will not be warm. An enemy might be able to defeat one person, but two people can stand back to back to defend each other. And three people are even stronger. They're like a rope that has three parts wrapped together. It is very hard to break people, politics, and popularity. A young leader who is poor but wise is better than a king who is old but foolish. That old king does not listen to warnings. Maybe the young ruler was born a poor man in the kingdom and Maybe he came from prison to rule the country. But I have watched people in this life, and I know this. People will follow that young man. He will become the new king. Many people will follow this young man, but later, 
those same people will not like him. This is also senseless. It is like trying to catch the wind. Be careful about making promises. Be careful when you go to worship God. It is better to listen to God than to give sacrifices like fools. Fools often do bad things and they don't even know it. Be careful when you make promises to God. Be careful about what you say to Him. Don't let your feelings cause you to speak too soon. God is in heaven and you are on earth. So you need to say only a few things to Him. This saying is true. Bad dreams come from too many worries, and too many words come from the mouth of a fool. If you make a vow to God, keep your vow. Don't be slow to do what you promised. God is not happy with fools. Give God what you promised to give him. It is better to promise nothing than to promise something and not be able to do it. So don't let your words cause you to sin. And don't say to the priest, I didn't mean what I said. If you do this, God might become angry at your words and destroy everything you have worked for. You should not let your useless dreams and boasting bring you trouble. You should respect God. The Poor and the Rich You may be in a place where the poor people are made to suffer by those in power. You may see their rights taken away unfairly, but don't be surprised. The official who is making life hard for them is under orders from another official in a higher position and they are both under even higher officials. It is best for a country to have a king in charge who will make sure the fields are prepared to produce good crops. Those who love money will never be satisfied with the money they have. Those who love wealth will not be satisfied when they get more and more. This is also senseless. The more wealth people have, the more friends they have to help spend it. So the rich really gain nothing. They can only look at their wealth. Those who work hard all day come home and sleep in peace. It is not important if they have little or much to eat. But the rich worry about their wealth and are not able to sleep. There is a very sad thing that I have seen happen in this life. People save their money for the future, then something bad happens and they lose everything. So they have nothing to give to their children. People come into the world with nothing, and when they die, they leave with nothing. They might work hard to get things, but they cannot take anything with them when they die. It is very sad that people leave the world just as they came. So what does a person gain from trying to catch the wind. They only get days that are filled with sadness and sorrow. In the end, they are troubled, sick, and angry. Enjoy your life's work. I have seen what is best for people to do. They should eat, drink, and enjoy the work they have during their short time here on this earth. God has given them these few days and that is all they have. If God gives some people wealth, property, and the power to enjoy those things, they should enjoy them. They should accept the things they have and enjoy their work. That is a gift from God. People don't have many years to live, so they must remember these things all their life. God will keep them busy with the work they love to do. Wealth does not bring happiness. I have seen another thing in this life that is not fair and is very hard to understand. God gives some people great wealth, riches, and honor. They have everything they need and everything they could ever want. But then God does not let them enjoy those things. Some stranger comes and takes everything. This is a very bad and senseless thing. A man might live a long time and have 100 children. But if he is not satisfied with those good things, and if no one remembers him after his death, I say that a baby who dies at birth 
is better off than that man. It is senseless when a baby is born dead. The baby is quickly buried in a dark grave, without even a name. The baby never saw the sun and never knew anything. But the baby finds more rest than the man who never enjoyed what God gave him. He might live 2,000 years! But if he does not enjoy life, then the baby who was born dead has found the easiest way to the same end. People work and work to feed themselves. They are never satisfied. In the same way, a wise person is no better than a fool is. It is better to be a poor person who knows how to accept life as it is. It is better to be happy with what you have and to always want more and more. Always wanting more and more is useless. It is like trying to catch the wind. You are only what you were created to be a human, and it is useless to argue about it. People cannot argue with God about this because he is more powerful than they are, and a long argument will not change that fact. Who knows what is best for people during their short life on earth? Their life passes like a shadow. No one can tell them what will happen later. 1 Corinthians chapter 7 Verses 17 to 35. Live as God called you. But each one of you should continue to live the way the Lord God has given you to live, the way you were when God chose you. I tell people in all the churches to follow this rule. If a man who is already circumcised when he was chosen, he should not change his circumcision. If a man was without circumcision when he was chosen, he should not be circumcised. It is not important if anyone is circumcised or not. What is important is obeying God's commands. Each one of you should stay the way you were when God chose you. If you were a slave when God chose you, don't let that bother you. But if you can be free, then do it. If you were a slave when the Lord chose you, you are now a free person who belongs to the Lord. In the same way, if you were free when you were chosen, you are now Christ's slave. God paid a high price for you, so don't be slaves to anyone else. Brothers and sisters, in your new life with God, each one of you should continue the way you were when God chose you. Questions about getting married. Now I write about people who have never married. I have no command from the Lord about this, but I give my opinion. And I could be trusted because the Lord has given me mercy. This is a time of trouble. So I think it is good for you to stay the way you are. If you have a wife, don't try to get free from her. And if you are not married, don't try to find a wife. But if you decide to marry, that is not a sin. And it is not a sin for a girl who has never married to get married. But those who marry will have trouble in this life. And I want you to be free from this trouble. Brothers and sisters, this is what I mean. We don't have much time left. So starting now, those who have wives should be the same as those who don't. It should not be important whether you are sad or whether you are happy. If you buy something, it should not matter to you that you own it. You should use the things of the world without letting them become important to you. This is how you should live, because the world, the way it is now, will soon be gone. I want you to be free from worry. A man who is not married is busy with the Lord's work. He is trying to please the Lord. But a man who is married is busy with things of the world. He is trying to please his wife. He must think about two things, pleasing his wife and pleasing the Lord. A woman who is not married or a girl who has never married is busy with the Lord's work. She wants to give herself fully body and spirit to the Lord. When a married woman is busy with things of the world, she's trying to please her husband. I'm saying this to help you. I'm not trying to limit you, but I want you to live in the right way. And I want you to give yourselves fully to the Lord without giving your time to other things. Proverbs chapter 19 verse 23 to 20 verse 4. Respect the Lord and you will have good life. 
one that is satisfying and free from trouble. Some people are too lazy to take care of themselves. They will not even lift the food from their plate to their mouths. Punish a rude, arrogant person, and even slow learners will become wiser. Just a little correction is enough to teach a person who has understanding. Sons or daughters who mistreat their parents bring shame and disgrace on their family. My son, if you stop listening to instructions, you will keep making stupid mistakes. Using a criminal as a witness makes a joke of justice. People like that only want to do wrong. People who show no respect for anything must be brought to justice. You must punish such fools. Wine and beer make people get loud and start fights. Whoever gets drunk is stupid. An angry king is like a roaring lion. If you make him angry, you could lose your life. People who refuse to argue deserve respect. Any fool can start an argument. Some people are too lazy to plow and plant seeds. So at harvest time, they look for food and find nothing. Thank you, everyone. That was day 224. Join us for day 225. You'll be hearing a collection of wise teachings, such as, it's better to go to a funeral than to a party. Well, why? Because everyone must die, and the living need to remember this. You'll hear more from Solomon about wisdom and power, justice, rewards, and punishment. And he reminds us that we cannot understand all God does. And in the book of 1 Corinthians, Paul takes on the subject of food that is being sacrificed to idols. And he addresses that issue about eating that kind of meat. And he also finishes up the discussion about marriage questions, including what if your fiancé is past the best age to marry? We hope you enjoyed today's verses. Be sure to leave us a positive review and to share this podcast with your friends and family. Please join us for the next episode as we experience the Bible in one year. Did you know we offer online courses in creative writing, literature, and web design? Visit us at storymaster.online to learn more.